Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 7 Plus not turning on after a little water damage and uh, of course after the diagnostics uh, turns out that the PPVDD main is shorted and that I'm going to show you. Uh, of course uh, this video has been in my library for quite some time and uh, finally I decided to make this video and uh, also uh, before we begin let me just uh, move my camera a little bit higher so you can see the behavior of the phone uh, in the power supply on the power supply and also we'll be talking about the diagnostics uh, how to find short what is VDD main or VC main line in iPhones and of course uh, we'll be also talking about the MOSFET transistor uh, how it works and what is the uh, what what is this MOSFET transistor do and also how to find short as I said so this will be uh, very fun, so stick to the end for those who want to learn about shorts and the main lines. And of course, uh, for those who already know, you can also stick to the end. Maybe there is a couple of information that you don't know. So as you can see, I'm connecting the connector and immediately the, um, the uh, PPVD main shows or the power supply shows that the phone is uh, you know, taking a lot Two amps immediately because I have a two amps uh, power supply. So uh, I guess yeah. Now let's uh, begin our work. Now as you can see, this is the dirty area, and I'm going to turn on my multimeter right now. Here we go and start to check the VDD main line, and I'm guessing this one is very easy and very obvious. Uh, but let me just show you the nearest elements or lines you can check for a VDD main short. And by the way, also this area is very popular one to get dirty. So uh, here you have four capacitors that connect from one side to the VDD main and the other side is to the ground. So you can check them out for a short. And also I'm hoping uh, for those two dirty elements that those are our problem. So we can fix this phone very quickly. But before that, let's jump to our schematics and uh, our board view uh, ZXW. So... Here we are on our ZXW, our board view, this is the 7 Plus Intel version and also our schematics iPhone 7 Plus, I guess Qualcomm version, but it's, uh, it's the same I guess for the power lines. So uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more about uh, VDD main shorts, VC main shorts and also the term of short, what is a short circuit and also I'm going to talk about uh, this little MOSFET over here which has been from the iPhone 6 and up. So uh, basically what is a short circuit in iPhones? Uh, as I said basically it will, uh, no, I'm just going to short it as a short term, <laughs> I'm just going to simplify it as a signal um, stopped uh, before uh, makes it to the final destination and also it could be said as a short to the ground is when a pathway to ground exists that should not be exist at all and also uh, again simplified as it could be two signal lines together that should not be together all of this may be complicated to you but it's very fun and simple uh, I'm not going to begin explaining everything from the start but uh, let's just say that this is a short term for what is a short circuit or element shorted or basically what a short means. So now let's go with uh, explaining the terms of VCC main, what it means and VDD main. Uh, the VCC is a short for voltage common collector and the VDD is short for voltage digital drain. And of course why it has in the end <laughs> the main word uh, because this power supply belongs to the main power supply group is generated uh, with uh, this uh, inside the PMIC which in our case we have an iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 7 it's called U1801 the main power management and then it get boosted or reduced uh, in Tigris uh, through Tigris and here comes the MOSFET work which is a uh, transistor switcher switcher transistor, hits it XW on Mac to be honest uh, yes it's a switcher transistor switch between the PPVDC main and PPVDD, PPBAD VCC or VDD main and PPBAD VCC but does not uh, generate any voltage and also I would like to mention that 
If you don't have a pp1 v8 underscore always, again, hzxw, <laughs> and go, always, yes, you can see, without it, uh, the ppvcc main will not work, so if you have a missing ppvc main or ppvdd main, you need to check the pp1 v8 always, because without it, you don't have vcc or vdd main. So again, now we will turn to the MOSFET and how a lot of people including me, made a, not a mistake, just an extra work when they have a VCC main or a VDD main short uh, related to removing the MOSFET when you have a short to those mentioned lines. So now let's jump to our schematics, and as you can see, this is the iPhone 7 Plus schematics. And uh, we see that uh, in the beginning of the video, we have a short on the power supply, have a voltage drop on the VCC VDD main line, you will see that the MOSFET, which is in the iPhone 7, is the Q2101 uh, Immediately will heat up, but this doesn't mean that the problem is in the transistor itself So most people, including me, were at the time I'm talking about myself, obviously <laughs> Desoldering the Q2101 to inject the voltage on the VCC main line To see where the short is, if it was an element or an IC Injecting from 1 volt to 8 volts, uh, not fairly noted that if you inject uh, 8 volts to the phone or to the line without turning on the phone, it's safe, but um, for uh, bigger than that, bigger voltage, uh, you know, just don't even try if you want your port to put up uh, normally, but if you apply 8 volts to the battery connector and try to turn on the phone, the MOSFET will not uh, let anything through and uh, it just close up and will disconnect uh, the line. But also a very important, if you want to inject uh, your power supply uh, 4 volts to the VC main or the main without removing the MOSFET to feel the heat or to see your, uh, you know, money shot, uh, let's just say that uh, if you have a conception of at least uh, you know, 10 amps, this is a very difficult to find, and if we, as I said, inject a 4 volt uh, on the line, you will not feel the heat, so if you want to feel the heat, you need to uh, raise the voltage to at least 8 volts, because the more voltage, uh, obviously, the more the current, and more energy, and again, this means that more heating, obviously, and we will get approximately uh, 20 amps, and this conception is possible to see heating so also it depends on your uh, power supply. So try to have a uh, minimum 3 to 5 amps power supply. Uh, so yes, uh, I guess we talked about uh, shorts and VCC VDD main lines. And of course the uh, little uh, MOSFET, which is over here again, Q2102. Uh, yep, here we go, Q2102. And, uh, of course, uh, his job is very important, and, of course, how to make the diagnostics to inject uh, more than 8 volts or just have a good power supply from 3 to 5 amps minimum. So, I guess uh, all we have uh, left is to remove the short, clean everything, and uh, see the results uh, of our work. So, let's go. So, as you can see, we cleaned everything, we moved the short, and now we're going to test our board. And the power supply looks everything okay. Now let's put in the housing and check if the phone boots up. This video was uh, actually a lot, of, a lot of fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much I enjoyed making it. Uh, a lot of uh, helpful information and useful information about VCC and shorts. 
This is made in shorts. I guess that the phone will boot up with no problems. And as you can see, we have our data. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.